In this video, I'm going to show you how to share your Google slide work with your students. So you have to remember that right now, if you just shared this Google Drive, uh, Google slide link with your students, all they would see is this little picture icon. And when they click on it, it will take them to Pear Deck to say, oh, how wonderful audio is now uh, a feature with Pear Deck and connect with Google slides. It won't have your audio recording. You have to send a Pear Deck link to your students. And then when they click on that link, they will see this Google slide and all the Pear Deck links will work for them. So the way you do this is you have to, once in your Google slide, click start lesson. And then right here, it's just asking you if you want the students to control the pace that they can go to, through the slides on their own, or is it instructor pace like you're doing a live lesson and you don't want the kids jumping around? This is an activity where the kids are going to do this at their own pace. Now, in a second, right now it's taking me to the teacher dashboard. In a different video, I'll explain what the teacher dashboard is. So uh, it's just going to pop up and say what you can do here. We don't need to worry about that because this is we're sending a link to our students to do at their own pace so i'm going to skip this part and the next screen that pops up it says here's where you can assign the students the homework so i have the option to copy the link which means for me to take it and put it on other platforms like schoolology or seesaw or class dojo or you can send it through a mind um, or if you're using google classroom then you can share it to google classroom so let's go ahead and see how we would add this link to a seesaw activity for students to complete. So I'm going to click copy link and then I'm going to go to seesaw. I'm going to add an activity, so assign activity. I'm going to create a new activity and I'm going to name it so art collage. And then I just want to get that link attached now before I forget. Again, this is a link to Pear Deck for them to complete the activity, to have those interactive features um, with the directions being read to them, watching videos, things like that. Because remember, if you bring something from Google Slide straight into Seesaw, it locks everything. So the kids won't be able to see the videos or click audio. So I'm going to add this as an external link for them to click on, for them to interact with. So right now it's attaching it. Don't worry about this preview. Uh, it's just a reminder that they're gonna have to log into Google to see this to see this, and to activate Pear Deck and all those things. Remember the first time, they're gonna have to go through the steps of activating Pear Deck, but after they do it the first time, they shouldn't have to do it again. So then I just have to think about my direction. So first I want them to click the link for the lesson. And those semicolons that what I just did was to put a picture icon in there for those of you not familiar with Seesaw. Learn how to make a collage. Then they're gonna come back to Seesaw, come back to Seesaw. And again, this is gonna put a picture icon in. Click. Again, I'm gonna, it puts in a nice green icon. Now, because this activity, they're creating a picture that they might wanna talk about, I'm gonna give them the, the drawing. I want them to do it on a drawing, but they could also choose the video or they could choose the mic. Um, there's like three different choices, but I think it's nice if they do it through the drawing because then they can, if a kid doesn't have collage materials, they can create a collage using the seesaw thing materials here, um, or they can record themselves as they do the project, or they can just take a picture of it. So it gives them more options than locking them into just take a picture or take a video. So I'm gonna say, uh, click on the add button. So I'm gonna have the template for them. And then I'm gonna say, take a picture. Oops, sorry, it's photos, the code. 
of your collage. And then click, and then it's check to send you your picture. All right, so let me add the template. So again, I want them to do the drawing so they can record themselves, or if they don't have collage materials, they can do that. I'm going to add directions down here just in case. Take a picture of your collage and add it here. If you don't have materials at home, go ahead and make a collage here in Seesaw. Don't forget to click the green check button to send it to your teacher. Sorry, I had to, I had to turn off the camera to hit the done button. So this is blank, so now the kids can do what they'd like here. So they can click on photo, they can upload a picture, they can take a picture right in Seesaw here. They can upload the picture and then record themselves talking about their picture. So there's a lot of great features here for Seesaw. So I like to do that instead of just have them take a picture and submit it. Okay, now I'm going to add voice instructions. Today you're going to learn how to make a collage. First, click the link for the lesson. There's some videos to watch and each slide has a directions for you to click on to listen to. Then come back to Seesaw and click add. Take a photo of your collage and then click the green check button to send it to your teacher. Have fun with this art project. That's gonna process. So now I have the art collage, I have the directions done, I have the example, which this is the actual assignment and then uh, a blank page for them to add to. More options. Uh, I don't need to add skills or notes on this one right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I gotta close my camera again to hit the save button. And then I'm gonna, this takes me to the activity library. So now I can organize this. I'm gonna just add it to my art before I forget. And then I can assign it to the students in my class. So Mr. Mott's class, I want it in the, uh, oh, I need to create the folder. So art, pink, but then the work just gets organized, who it's going to, that's good. And then I can schedule it if I want, or I can just assign it. Okay, so now let me show you what it looks like on the student side. Uh, so here's the art collage. I'm going to click on the activity. I'm going to click on sample student. Oops. Sorry, I forgot. I got to click add response. Select that on the sample student. And I'm going to click view instructions. This is just checking to make sure things work. So I'm going to click on the instructions. Sorry, my computer's a little slow today. So now it's loading the Pear Deck. I'm just gonna hit pause well. All right, so I can provide my feedback. And that's something you can look into settings, okay? All right, and right now it has, um, let me go to the first slide. So then here we have the audio included, which lets the kids know that if they click on the headphones, then the directions on this page will be read to them. So if I click the headphones and then click play. The art of collage. Today, you're going to be making collages. And then I give the directions there, and then the kids will go to the next slide, and then they can watch Mrs. Gohari's video. So then they can watch that video, and then come back to the slide, go to the next slide, and then they can watch the YouTube video. Again, my internet is slow today, sorry. So the YouTube video would pull up and then on each of the next slides, then I have recorded the directions for the kids to listen to. So then that, so then that video would play and then they would go to the next slide and then the directions are there for them to click to play on, 
Okay, so that is how you can use Pear Deck and then assign it into Seesaw. Okay, and then again, sorry, when they're done with the the all the slides for the lesson, then they can come back to Seesaw and take a picture of their work. Okay, in a different video, I'm going to show all the other features of Pear Deck that you can use with the students. And then also do another video on, well, how you can do a live lesson too. Okay, hope this was helpful.